So what does all this mean? Uh, the young people of today, my 11-year-old, uh, are, they'll be 22 before we know it, uh, twice her age, but she will have spent, she's already spent about seven years on the internet, so she's quite fluent. By 22, she'll be very, very fluent. Uh, and these communities of people, this is where I'm going out on a limb, I'm predicting that communities of people, and I'm saying they're going to be young because I'm not going to do it, could be anybody in this room if you get busy and keep up with what the kids are doing, are going to come together and produce Hollywood and better quality films collaboratively. Uh, using large-scale uh, CGI, they're going to be able to, to film with local actors, they can put in explosions and spaceships and whatever it is they need to do. Um, and these will become more popular than Hollywood. Uh, and these will be produced, much as Wikipedia is produced, at very low cost, uh, with just a bit of facilitation from various services online. Uh, and it's going to destroy the business model of Hollywood. Uh, never mind the question of piracy, which is a huge problem. I'm, I'm actually more sympathetic than you might think to the issue of piracy. I think that Hollywood is really not seeing what's really coming at them. The real freight train is mass collaboration, mass creativity, uh, where people will be able to create Hollywood quality films uh, in small groups of people working together. Uh, then what? Uh, just after, just as 11 years after the founding of Wikipedia, uh, Britannica has just stopped printing. And in fact, there, there was a little of a blip of a news headline, but honestly, it's uh, nostalgia. I mean, I love Britannica. I still love Britannica. It's a bit of nostalgia because if I think, oh my God, what a loss in my life. I don't have Britannica. I think, actually, I actually haven't touched my Britannica in about eight years, which is why they can't sell. They sold 3,000 copies, apparently, last year uh, in, in print form. Uh, and so some decade after the first real Hollywood-style collaborative community project where we begin to see high quality, really entertaining, really creative and artistic things coming from communities online, um, Hollywood will be mostly dead and no one will care. Uh, we'll see a few nostalgic stories about, oh, remember when?